What's up everybody? It's Nick from Houdat Travel and we are up and at them late because we're going to Epcot today. So what do you do with a toddler on the day that you go to Epcot? Well, you play around, you sleep in a little bit, but we are going to try to get little man down for a nap early today because we have some friends that we are going to meet that we haven't seen in years uh, that just happen to be here at the same time. Hey, we seem to start doing this a bit, but uh, we're down here a bunch, so uh, it's exciting that we're gonna go see them, because again, we haven't seen them forever. So we're going to have some family fun day at Epcot, and we'll show you what we do in the morning, and right now, it's breakfast time. All right, for breakfast, we don't do fancy stuff. We actually do dollar menu stuff. <laughs> so, or, well, cheap, because uh, I think they're more than a dollar now. But we actually go over to Taco Bell, I know, not like huge, but you know what? It keeps our costs down. Um, we can have, you know, two or three burritos for just a couple bucks. Uh, he'll eat some of the burrito as, as well, uh, but, wow, it's bright. Uh, but it's a way that we keep things down and you know what, we don't mind them. Uh, we generally only do it on vacation or uh, or down here. So it's, uh, it's just one of our tricks. All right, Taco Bell is not far away and we actually have uh, some gift cards that we even use. So uh, I'm gonna order real quick. Hi, good morning, how are you? Morning, how about yourself? I'm well, how about yourself? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. Can I take the order? Yes, can I have three cheesy toasted breakfast burritos? And can I, can I make those bacon, please? Okay, or three? Yes, three, please. Okay. And can I have a side of creamy jalapeno sauce, please? Okay, can I complete the order? That'd be it. Yes, that's complete your order, everything's okay in the fridge, your order is 449 and we Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, so for 449, uh, all three of us can have breakfast and uh, it's filling. So we'll, uh, we'll have some breakfast here and um, maybe a montage, I don't know. After a quick breakfast, we are now going to head down to the pool so he gets tired. Now, little man loves the pool here. It's a zero entry, uh, so he can walk right in as a toddler. Uh, he also, with the aid of this, loves jumping in. So uh, we're gonna head down there and tire him out so we can get to uh, Epcot at a decent time. You know, Epcot is the hardest one just because little man wants to sleep at 11 o'clock or noon, so. All right, buddy, you ready? Bye. Ready. Hey, come on, buddy. Come on in, go. All right, as I said, the zero entry, really nice. Uh, I think someone's gonna try to get some sun first. All right, we're gonna head out to the pool. I am not gonna do a lot of filming because, well, I am gonna spend some time with little man. So we'll see you when we're done. All right, we are back from the pool and it is time for a nap. A uh, little man jumped around for an hour or so and well, we had a lot of fun. So uh, sorry I couldn't bring you with, it's, you know, safety. So we are going to take a nap and then we are going to grab some lunch and head over to Epcot. We may eat lunch at Epcot, it depends on him. All right, we are finally on our way to Epcot to meet our friends. So, hey buddy, you ready? I know, mama pushed the button. Yes, we are at the age that button pushing, well, besides with us, is an important thing. All right, come on. Go, go, go. All right, we made it in and it is a balmy 94. It feels over 100 degrees right now. Little man has his stroller and stroller fan and we are trying to find our friends. So we'll, uh, we'll walk around a little bit. We will try to find our friends and, and continue or start our day here at Epcot. All right, well, we made it. We've got our friends. And we are heading to the seas with Nemo because it's really hot and we need a break already. So uh, we'll head in there and uh, have some fun. You know what? It is a 10 minute wait, basically a walk on. Little man's going to go run through the queue. So we'll see you in there. All right, here we go. Did you get on yesterday and 
talk with Crush is open again. However, the wife and I need food. The little man's already got food, so uh, we're gonna head out and uh, probably go to the refreshment station uh, over by Canada there and grab some poutine. It is awesome to see the monorail back at Epcot. Just on our way over to grab our poutine and keep seeing the monorails going by. All right, they only had spoons, so we're gonna try this. I want some. Yeah, you want some too? Dad's gonna have some first. I want some. I want some. Not bad. The uh, we'll see if he likes cheese on the fry. Want some cheese on the fry? No. I well, want some. There we go. I want some. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, Dad's gonna have that. We also got our free waters and filled up. So, all right. Overall good the wife didn't like it as much as i did uh the jalapenos actually the vinegar kind of broke up the the richness of the cheese uh overall really good still not as good as the lobster mac and cheese though so we're gonna take a look at some other things real quick uh and then head back over and meet up with our friends again because uh well they already had lunch or a, a meal so I, i'm not sure what to call it liner lupper what what do you say put it in the comments below all right, we are trying Australia and the grilled sweet and spicy bush shrimp. Also did the roasted lamb chop, which is served with sweet potato puree, bush berry pea salad, and pistachio pomegranate romada. And the shrimp as well. So we'll let you know how these are. All right, so we're gonna do a composed bite here. Got the pea, the sweet potato, and also the lamb. It's actually really good, and I'm not somebody who likes sweet potatoes, so that's actually seeing something here. The lamb is cooked really, really well, uh, and uh, I'm gonna have the, the rest of it here. Uh, wife, of course, I have a little bit. Uh, little man already said no. All right, and now for the shrimp. Not bad. But, uh, but nothing really is special either, so I like the lamb a lot better. All right, so overall, Australia, hit and a miss. Uh, really wasn't all that impressed with the uh, with the shrimp. There wasn't a real big fishy flavor, which was nice. Uh, the lamb chop I liked, however, it did make you feel a little bit, um, well, animalistic. Uh, really don't have any knives or anything, so you kind of had to gnaw it off the bone. So overall, eh, eh. All right, so we've gotten some food, met back up with the friends, and since one of them have never been to Disney, we're leading around some some of the fun ones. So we're gonna actually do something we don't normally do, which is ride or swap uh, for soaring. So I haven't been on it since, uh, this one's been really small. So we're gonna head into the land and do that. We might do living with the land. We'll see how the little ones do. All right, only a 20 minute wait, so. We're gonna take advantage of that. We need to set up rider swap. You know how it works? Yes, yes we do. So who are they riding the second time? The, the two gentlemen are riding the second time. No, no. And then your, your ticket or your... Oh. <laughs> we are heading back in. Flight time is supposedly 25 minutes, but for us... All right, there we go. All right, we're heading down Concourse C. I think that the pre-show is actually going. And as you can see, there's some residue markers still from the uh, from the stand here, and uh, those are all gone now. So, so far, people haven't been too bad. They haven't been running into us too much, so that's kind of nice. But they are definitely a lot closer than they used to be. All right. As you can see, there is a line, and we're not moving. So it looks like something has gone wrong. Now, we went through the fast pass because we did use Rider Swap. Uh, and if you don't know what Rider Swap is, let me know in the comments, and I will go through what it all is uh, and how to do it. But uh, we'll tell you how long, how much longer this is going to be in a little bit. 
I literally just stopped talking and we started moving. Maybe I maybe I should have done that uh, intro a little earlier and we would have started moving. Wide open. Please take a seat. Store all carry-on items in the under seat. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course these little dudes. So we did soaring and uh, we got to show soaring off for the first time. Uh, their little one liked it. He's a little bit taller than little man. So uh, we got some pretty bad storms looking like they're going, but right now they're around us. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, popcorn for the little ones and uh, probably ride some figment. So uh, really we're playing it by ear. We're trying to do as much fun stuff as possible uh, for one of the guys that had never been here before. And then just have fun. What Disney is all about. So we have been doing a little bit of walking around. We are outside of the refreshment outpost uh, because it was time to get some very large waters. And and the wife decided that she was gonna go for her favorite Dole Whip ever, the watermelon, which yes. to me tastes yes. like yes. <laughs> tastes like a giant Jolly Rancher. Uh, and Little Man seems to be approving as well. I think uh, I'm the only one that uh, will go for the regular pineapple. Yeah. All right, so we uh, had a little snack and the little ones have, uh, as usual, are dictating the day uh, and they are hungry. So we are actually going to stop in and well here's the line for for mexico to eat right now uh most everything is absolutely booked uh, so we're unable to actually get a reservation but so we're going to do some quick service so uh the little ones kind of need to to actually sit down and eat uh so we can't unfortunately eat around the world but we're gonna make the best of this so let's see what we get for dinner all right, so we did ended up going to the La Cantina. Uh, we ended up with the empanadas, and the wife isn't all that hungry, so she just went to, with some one of her favorite, the fried plantains. And of course, we had to get our water. I did a terrible job and ate before I actually videoed, but there were three of those empanadas, and uh, there's the wife's plantains. Well, the last one. So uh, we are having a little bit of dinner, and uh, pretty good, actually. Uh, line was really long. Line is not moving really Real fast when you order your food but it is pretty busy around here never eaten here it actually has a absolutely wonderful view of the lagoon this actually is our first time eating here and I think we'll probably be back all right I hope this comes through on camera because the clouds next to the pyramid look just awesome and so far we haven't got dumped on by them so we are lucking out i think we're heading into the three caballeros to uh do a little bit of mexico and i don't know we may get an adult beverage so we're gonna find out but first stroller parking all right so this is a little bit different they are having you go into to the left for dining, shopping, and La Cava de Tequila, and right for the attraction. Oh, so good with the air conditioning. Right, so there's actually a line for the Grand Fiesta Tour, which I'm surprised, but ha kind of happy for at the same time. So I'm not gonna lie, I really hope that the plexiglass here was gone, it's still here. And I unfortunately barely fit through here, so we kind of walked sideways. So uh, we are gonna get on here real quick. Uh, wait was only 10 or 15 minutes, it wasn't too horrible. Yeah. Roar. I think he's ready for Animal Kingdom already. So, uh, but instead, we're gonna go with the three caballeros and uh, go to try to find Donald. Are you ready to go find Donald? Yep. All right, let's go. So 
little man is having a little bit of a problem because we are actually stuck <laughs> on three caballeros. Is it all right? We're going to be okay, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Night. All right. Well, I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, we were stuck for, I'd say, 10 minutes. Uh, little man didn't do the best on that one, but we got him calmed down, and uh, our friends are going to start heading out, so we're probably going to wander up and go to Figment uh, and uh, say goodbye to them, and we may hang out for a little bit, and uh, it looked like it rained while we were... Uh, oh, wow. It's like swimming now. Hopefully the stroller isn't too wet. Uh, we'll see. All right, one of Little Man's favorite, Journey into Imagination, or as we just call it, Figment. All right. Touch, taste, sight, smell, sound, and image works. The What If Labs. Yes. I'm supposed to watch you, buddy. Please don't let your imaginations run wild. Ugh. Don't let your imagination run wild. I'm Dr. Michael Channing. Channing, what are you imagining? this shows up on video because the sky is awesome back there uh, we have some big puffy clouds here that are uh, catching some light the other way and it, it looks awesome we just finished with figment I see a little thunder and light or I see a little lightning in the background and uh, the little guys are playing with some glow sticks right now um, our friends are about to leave their little guy has been up all day uh, so they're gonna head out I think we're gonna hang out a little bit more and we might try to catch the fireworks I'm not sure it depends on how little man does so uh, stick with us and find out what else we can uh, actually get done this evening uh, spaceship earth lit up I love it it is starting to get darker earlier again which I uh, I'm glad because there is nothing like this parks lit up for at night so oh and also the monorail all right so we had a little bit of well, let's call it shopping uh, our old bubble wand worked for about two days uh, so we actually asked and they replaced it for us again uh, just like with uh, the wife's mask at Disney standing by their st their stuff um, so we are extremely happy well he is uh, that they replaced it for us and we are now going to call this an end to the night so uh, with all these bubbles going on it's a it's a party for him but uh, it's the bedtime party so oh, tomorrow we're gonna hit up Magic Kingdom and really excited about that so follow along and if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up smash that like button if that's what you're into and also of course hit that subscribe button and the, hit the bell notification to be notified when I release new content and with that being said we'll see you real soon